In the early 1700s, the legend in England began to spread very quickly. The legend was a type of boogeyman story which was supposed to influence small children to behave. Well, that's how it started anyway. The legend says if you go near the woods in the small town at night, the tree man will get you. The tree man was said to be tall and thin, having glowing eyes and arms and legs that were like branches of a tree. The children's parents would say that's how he tricks you. Of course, some kids decided it would be fun to see if that was true or not, so they went into the woods. The kids were never seen again. About a year later, the bones of the three kids were found. Each child's remains suggested that they were around the age of 15. The bones were bleached white, picked clean of any skin or tendons. The doctors could not tell what happened to them due to the significant amount of damage done to the bones. After the children's bones were found, their parents went crazy. One of the mothers even tried to kill her husband. She failed but ended up committing suicide. The fathers hung themselves with dead vines around in the forest. One left a note before committing the act. It read, I can no longer sleep. I can no longer eat or live. Every time I close my eyes, I see his face. All of this has been started by that horrible man. In 1902, a group of first and second graders began to act strangely. They would hit each other, curse at the teachers, and draw disturbing pictures. This was the worst part by far. The pictures would depict the child next to what appeared to be a dead and rotting tree in the shape of a man. He appeared to be at least 13 feet tall and have long branch-like limbs and white eyes. Two weeks later, all the kids mysteriously disappeared. All their parents said their children would not stop talking about the drawing of someone called the Tree Man. The noted parents were placed in a mental institution after their children vanished. Years later, in 2005, a child got lost in the woods. He was found three weeks later. He had gotten thin from starvation, but he was pale and crying. Next to him, he had made ten figures out of branches and twigs. A police officer asked him how he made them. The child only looked up at the officer and said, him. Three weeks later, the child went missing for good, never to return. His mother was found curled up in the fetal position, crying. Next to her was a piece of paper. It had twigs on it, making symbols that seemed to be some form of language that could not be identified. Up until then, there has been nothing else, except for a small amount of information on the attacks. The attacks only happen in parts of the woods where the trees are dead and rotting, or while someone falls asleep in the woods, unable to see the trees.